So now what we're going to want to do is, uh, what's the next part? Oh yes, okay, so you have to make this black circle. And the black circle is really easy, you just make a tube. And uh, position it at 100 again. And I keep forgetting to put it on model tool. <sighs> it can get pretty annoying. Uh, and you're going to want to, on the B, put it to 90, so it's standing up. And then you're going to want to uh, make it really thin. I'd suggest you go into the, uh, oop, that's not the right selection. Yeah, that's the right, okay. Um, oh, no, that's not the right view. Four views, there we go. I was messing around earlier. Um, there's the one I'm looking for. Oh, okay, here's the one I'm looking for. So uh, you're going to want to move this to one of the edges. And uh, click on, on the outer, click on the click on the top one and make it till it make it red light it. And so it won't show up in the preview, but if we were to render it out now, it'd show up in the render. Okay, so we're just going to want to uh, make this about the same size as that, as the outer edge, outer lip, roughly the same size. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger, because it does protrude out a little bit. That looks good. Okay. Now, oops. And now you're going to take the, uh, you get, there's, it's really hard to see, but there are two balls here. The wrong one. Uh, it's really hard to target that other one. Probably should have made it smaller first. But if you just highlight, okay, there we go. And you're going to want to make it so it's a little bit bigger, or just roughly the same size. Now, as you can see, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So, there we go. And we render that out, and it has that side lip now, I think. Yep. Now, before we um, make that editable, we're going to up the rotations on it to make it look better. There we go. And uh, I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller because this is a very thin one. Okay. Now, we have to put it all around here. And it can be a little bit challenging, but there's an easier way to do it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Use Object Axis tool. And it's, what it does is it changes the axis. And you want to go click on the box here, up here, to uh, change your uh, perspective. And you want to move this right to the right in the center. And then go over to there and zoom in. Just keep zooming in until you can't zoom in anymore. And if you lose your object, just zoom out until you find it. And then keep zooming in and zooming in until you can't zoom in anymore. So you, you're a perfect in the middle, pretty much. See, that looks perfect. But if we were to zoom in more, you can see that it's not really. Although it's pretty close. And you're just going to want to put it right in the center. There we go. And now just move that to the bottom. And you're going to want to uh, make one. You're pretty much just going to want to rotate them 90 degrees on the H axis. Oh, nope. Never mind. going to move that first. There we go. N now we're going to move 90 degrees on the H axis, which will bring it there. Make a new one another 90 degrees which is 180 and bring it there and another one which is 270 and one more and now you want to put the top so to do the top you it's 0 and the other one is 180 so now we have all six sides covered and now what you're going to want to do is uh, look at that it looks nice now what you're going to want to do is take all of these tubes and then you're going to want to connect and delete them. And so it's all one object now. And now you're going to want to copy those and so you have a second set. Go to your scale tool and anywhere off of it just scale it down. That'll be your second set of rings where the ball will be placed in. And uh, I'll just label that second so I remember which one it is. Oops, I can't spell today. Second, there we go. And so, yeah, that's where the ball is going to be placed in the middle, or the refraction. And I can bring this back now. And uh, sorry about the video going long. It's just going to be a long video. Um, and so, what we're going to do is uh, probably going to split this into two parts. Um, yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Now we're going to uh, go into the colors. So we're going to make two colors. One is going to be a black with a reflection. So I don't like to go pure black, so I'll make it a little bit dark. 
And then you're going to want to go to Reflection, make it about a 10% reflection, and then put Fresnel on it to make it look and good, and then put about 15, yeah, 15, looks nice. And that's going to be uh, those two. And then the other one's going to be just a white, and you're going to make it look white. And then you're going to go to uh, Reflection again, and do about the same setting, so 10, put Fresnel on, and 15. And so the white is going to be those two, and the black is going to be these two. And now you're going to, to the final part of this, you're going to want to put a cube or a sphere in the middle. So make a sphere, move it up 100, and now as you can see, it's not really, you can't even see those, so you have to resize it now. So you resize it until you can just, until they pop, until uh, you can see the rings of all of them. And then, so now it's in the center of all those rings. You want to turn up the segments so it doesn't look blocky. And then we got a nice orb in the middle. And to make that orb, the reflection, you want to go to color, and you want to make it a green. A, uh, yeah, is it green or blue? Uh, yeah, I made it green first. So it's a, uh, it's a, it's a green, uh, a lightish kind of green. And then you're going to want to go to transparency and put the transparency to about 50-60% around there. And you want to turn on some refraction. So you're going to make it about a 1.5 refraction. And that's just, I don't even know what that does. It just makes it look nice. And then you're going to want to go to reflection and turn a reflection on. And then, you know, uh, about 50% reflection. And on the reflection, you're going to actually want to make it blue, a very light, light blue. And then on transparency, you're also going to want to make it blue. So we get that mix of two colors in it. And uh, that's that's the center, pretty much. And so now we can put all the colors on. Um, yeah. So the sphere, the outer, and the inner are white. And those two tubes are black. And then the center is that. I'm not going to put that on just yet. Because um, it takes a while to render. Now we're going to make want to make a light. And do the basic light settings and all that stuff. You know, put your light in a, some positions you like. And then we're going to want to put on the light, we're going to go to shadow. And get a soft map shadow. And we're going to render that out, and it looks cool. kind of. And we're going to make a second one now. So uh, we can cover both sides, so no, no side is left bad. And actually, I'm going to move both of these up. Just so we can get our around there. Okay. So now we look. It looks good. Now, it does look kind of dark and stuff and we're going to put a um, a floor in and uh, the floor is also going to be white and then we're going to put a sky in and the sky is going to be the HDRI and you're going to right click on it and go to composite in and you're going to turn off cameras so when we render this out it gets a kind of shiny look to it and now there's one last thing we're going to do I'm not going to do it here because it takes a couple minutes to uh, just render an image it's um, you want to go to render settings, you want to go to effect, and go to global illumination and turn that on. Now I'm not going to turn it on, because it's going to take forever to render, and you don't want to watch it render forever. So now we got it kind of looking nice. Um, and you're just going to want to put this in the middle, and see if this renders out nice. There we go. And uh, see so yeah, that's the refraction cube. And just find a position you like, and uh, render it out. Now we're going to go to the Photoshop segment of it. So after we got that, you know, the magic of editing, I have this already made. This is, this is the original one I have. And when you put the globe illumination on, it makes it pure white like this. Now that we have this, we're going to want to make the lasers. So I find the best way to do is go to the pen tool here. And you're want, going to want to go to uh, the line tool. And off the side, you're going to want to make it go from off the edge to right at the corner of one of these. And now you're going to go to the settings. And keep it black. Just keep it black for now. And you want to go to cover, color overlay and go to red. Mine's defaulted at red. Then you want to go to outer glow and inner glow. And on the outer glow and inner glow, you're going to want to make the colors red. But not just a red, but more of a pinky red. And same with the inner glow. You're going to want to make it a creamy pinky red. Kind of. 
and uh, you want to put up the opacity to uh, 100% for both of them. Okay, and we're going to click off and it, you get kind of a, a laser beam almost. Now it's kind of hard to see, so on the background, which is uh, this, um, you're going to want to go to the layer, you want to go to gradient overlay, or overlay. you're going to want to click on it and change it to the second one, which will allow you to see the object in the back but still have the black, and you're going to want to put it to about a 53 degree angle, and then put the scale all the way to 150. And then put the opacity till it's it's fairly dark, but you can still see it. Okay. So now we have that, it, it refracts, so we're gonna actually make this go up instead of this way. So you're gonna click on duplicate that layer. Yes, duplicate it. And you wanna go hit um, you wanna sorry hit you wanna go to edit and you wanna go to free transform. And you want to want to transform this till it's a it's perfectly vertical. Not perfectly; it doesn't have to be, but uh, until it, it's vertical. And then you're going to want to move this so it's right at the edge here. And so you can see it's coming in, but it doesn't it doesn't look good yet. So what you're going to want to do is go to the blur tool, and then you're going to click that. It's going to turn it in. Oh, oops! You're going to select one of the layers. It's going to turn it into a vector mask. And you're going to want to blur it till about halfway, halfway through the cube. So it looks like it's going through, it's blurring, and then it refracts and goes up. And you're going to want to do the same thing with the other one. Oh, nope, that's not what we want. So we want to select that, turn it into a vector mask, and you want to do it about halfway as well. And it blends it in there, and then it looks good. Then you can go add your text, whatever you want. So you can see I added Refraction Cube and Portal 2 by Royce. And then it looks all nice and neat and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Cinema 4D Toots for uh, allowing me to upload this. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, come to my channel. Uh, if you want, you know, come subscribe if you like. Uh, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.